Hello everyone, today we'll start the topic addition of alcohols to carbonyl compound. It is also an example of nucleophilic addition reaction. So uh, let us start our topic today. So this is an aldehyde, we are taking first the aldehyde. So R C double bond O H, this is our aldehyde and we are adding the monohydric alcohol to it. Monohydric alcohol means that that alcohol which contains one OH group and then we are adding HCl. So HCl uh, we are taking uh, in gaseous form. Why? Uh, because this HCl will increase the electrophilicity of carbon atom and therefore the OR negative will attack the carbonyl carbon very easily. So when you add the R-OH where R- dash is another alkyl group uh, different from this alkyl group uh, then what will be formed? You will get hemiacetal. This hemiacetal is formed when the OR uh, dash negative is attacking on the carbonyl carbon and the hydrogen atom is attached to the oxygen atom and you are getting this one, this compound. So this is what? This is alkoxy alcohol intermediate because you are getting alkoxy also and alcohol also. And uh, the name given to the, this type of compound is hemiacetal. So this is hemiacetal compound. Then another alcohol molecule you are adding, then what you will get, you will get the acetal. Here what happened that alcohol is converted to alkoxy. So this is dialkoxy compound. This dialkoxy compound is geminal compound because the both the alkoxy groups are on the same carbon atom. So this is geminal dialkoxy compound and the name given to it is acetal. So this is acetal and water is released. Now when you add acid to it, the acid to the acetal, then you will get the aldehyde back. So this is a reversible reaction. Similarly, if there is ketone instead of aldehyde then what will happen I will show you so if you are taking ketone so here instead of hydrogen atom you you will add alkyl group and so there, therefore this is ketone and you are adding now the uh, alcohol to it then you will get hemiketal instead of hemiacetal so this is hemiketal here uh, instead of hydrogen atom, you have the alkyl group and West is same. This is a alkoxy alcohol because there is one alkoxy group OR dash and one alcohol group that is OH. So you are getting hemiketal here because of this alkyl group, it is hemiketal. If it would have been hydrogen atom here, then it would have been said to be hemiacetal. Then again, you are adding one more alcohol. Uh, molecule then what you will get you will get ketal now because here there is alkyl group instead of hydrogen uh, atom and this is dialkoxy again because there are two alkoxy group on the carbon atom so this is ketal so uh, this was the addition of alcohols to carbonyl compounds you can get cyclic uh, cyclic ketal also let me show you how So to form the cyclic ketal, or what we are going to add, we are going to add ethylene glycol to ketone and then what will uh, and also HCl gas to increase the electrophilicity of the carbon atom and we will get the cyclic ketal uh, by uh, removal of H2O from the product. So uh, H2O is removed and you are getting this cyclic ketal in which the uh, CH2O and CH2O they combine with the carbonyl carbon and form the cyclic uh, ketal M means the alkoxy group in, in the cyclic form with the ketone. So uh, this is named as ethylene glycol ketal and if you add to it the dilute HCl that is acid that is mineral acid to the uh, product then you will get your ketone back. So this is all about the nucleophilic addition reaction, the addition of alcohols to aldehydes and ketones. So I hope you have understood this topic. 
वेल मीट इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू